Good afternoon, church. Uh, this is Andrew here in my office, and I just want to create a short video to share with you some of our plans for worship as we look at finishing up the summer and moving into the fall. First, I want to say it has been such a joy to gather outside of this past summer. I'm so glad we've been able to do that in July and August, and to continue to include all of you who are worshiping from home. It is always our goal to be one church as we worship together, whether we are indoors, outside, here in person, or joining from home. So we are going to continue worshiping outside as long as the weather allows us because it is just so nice to be out there together and so easy to spread out and really the lowest risk way that we can be together in worship. And at the August session meeting last week, our elders made the decision that when fall weather uh, makes it unfeasible for us to gather outside, we will begin worshiping indoors in compliance with all the regulations put in place by the Oregon Health Authority. We will continue to do the live stream while we are indoors, of course. All this will take place in one 10 a.m. service, com continuing with our blended worship model. We don't have a set date for that transition yet because we're going to let the weather uh, dictate it and we're going to stay outside as long as it's comfortable to do so and as long as we can keep our technology dry. Of course, we'll come indoors whenever some rain is on the forecast. Here's what I want you to know about our plans as we move the single 10 o'clock worship service indoors. I will let you know about that date as soon as possible, but as we all know, weather can change here in Central Oregon, so that change might happen within a few days of a Sunday, but ideally we'd be planning it one or two weeks in advance. I want to really emphasize two things as we plan to come indoors, and the first is really the most important, that we acknowledge that worshiping together indoors does hold a slightly higher risk than being together outdoors. And so with that in mind, we are encouraging all of our members who find themselves in a vulnerable category uh, to the coronavirus due to age or any other health conditions, we encourage you to stay home and stay safe and continue joining us in worship online. We think that is just obviously the best and safest option for people who have those concerns. So that is still a top priority for us. For those who do feel comfortable joining us indoors, uh, we are asking that you register online in advance every week. And please, some of you have been doing that really well. Some of you are used to, you know, just saying your name as you walk in and we'll check you off. Um, but it's essential for us as we plan indoors worship to have a better idea of how many people will be there joining us just so that we can plan for how spread out things will be in the sanctuary. When we move indoors, uh, here's just some of the things to be prepared for. Everyone will be required to wear a mask at all times, indoors, covering your nose and covering your mouth. You've all seen the signs showing you how to do it properly. There you go. So things are completely covered. Uh, that is for the safety of everyone who is present. All of us are already doing that every time we come and go from the building. When we are gathered indoors, we will not be singing in worship. We'll have our musicians vocalize the songs and I'll be preaching. Um, from our understanding of the current health guidelines in Oregon, the vocalist and the preacher will be wearing a mask while we do those things, but we're going to ask the congregation to not sing along. But we'll give some more thought about how we can participate by speaking the Lord's Prayer together and things like that, um, but singing especially just raises up all the things that would transmit the virus if someone were to have it. We will continue to practice physical distancing. There will be really clear Floor markings about how you enter the building through the very center door, entering the sanctuary through the center aisle, spreading out at marked spots in the pews, and then we will have seating available in the balcony as well, all again marked. Uh, every other pew will be closed off, so on and so forth. At this time, we do not have plans to reintroduce nursery care for small children or Sunday school. We are regularly talking with the parents of young kids just to see what they feel comfortable with. Um, and also just a real limiting factor there is our ability to have uh, enough volunteers to make those ministries happen who feel comfortable with what we're doing. So at this point, we want families to join us as much as you are comfortable doing. We just ask that those families sit together and, and there's totally room to spread out and really have room for your kids to move around a little bit. We've been doing that some outdoors and it's great to have families with kids there. The last thing I want to say as far as logistics is that we need your help. For those of you who you who are joining us in worship on Sundays in person, you are seeing that there is quite a crew of volunteers every week. There's an extra hospitality task involved just to help people move to the right places, make sure that everyone who's entering the door has uh, checked in or registered for contact tracing purposes, um, and then just helping keep people spread out in the right places. We are also really 
introducing new volunteers to assist with our technology needs uh, with uh, sound, uh, the presentation technology, as well as the live stream video. And that is because so many of our volunteers who've been involved in the past are choosing to stay home for their own safety or the safety of their loved ones, and we want to respect that. So we need new volunteers. Right now, some of those volunteers are being trained in the sanctuary in preparation for when we do come indoors. So we are preparing for that, but we need your help. If you would like to help, reach out to me directly or to Ryan, uh, who coordinates all our operations here at the church. A few final things I want to say as we move forward with our plans. Uh, for worship in the fall. Again, we'll stay outdoors as long as we can. When we need to come indoors, we will, and we will do it with as much uh, caution as possible, minimizing the risk of transmission. I want you to know that as the leaders of this church, it is our priority to see the congregation continue in its ministry and mission. Our, our mission statement is to grow in Christ and love one another, and we believe that is happening every week here as a church. It is also our top goal to stay united as one church, even though we are aware of the realities that some people are here in person and some people are worshiping from home. So we are doing all we can to stay connected. We are open to new and creative ideas about how we move forward in ministry together. We would love to hear from you if something comes to your mind. The best new ministries that have started in my time at this church have started small and grown, expanded, and multiplied because they've been the right fit at the right time. And we think some of you have those ideas, so please be in touch with myself or other elders about those ideas. Finally, we just want to make clear that we are going to do our part to stay up to date and stay in compliance with the Oregon Health Authority guidelines and the recommendations that we are getting in direct communication with the Deschutes County Health. Uh, so ask us any questions you have. We'll do our best to answer those. Um, but please help us stay in compliance with all that um, as you enter the building and as you join us in worship. As we move into the fall, as your pastor, I want to encourage all of you to reflect on what it means to be a member of the church, not just this church, but of the body of Christ. How are you participating in worship even as you are from home? How are you growing as a disciple? How are you contributing to the mission in a way that God is calling you to do? That's great questions for all of us right now, and let's explore that together. I'm always happy to chat on the phone or uh, discuss over email, so send me a note. Thanks. I love you all, and I miss seeing you every week, but we will continue faithfully as God leads us to.